We are digging deeper tonight into a story we first told you about yesterday. A proposal by Pittsburgh City Councilman Ricky Burgess to tax students and patients who use educational uh, medical services in the city of Pittsburgh. As political editor John Delano reports, city controller Michael Lamb calls the tax illegal. This bill proposed by Councilman Ricky Burgess would impose a 1% tax on students and patients who use services provided by any higher educational or medical facility in the city of Pittsburgh. I don't think it makes sense. And in the case that we have in front of us, I don't think it's legal. Pittsburgh City Controller Michael Lamb says this tax is illegal because the state legislature has never granted the city this taxing power. And this is basically a sales tax on services uh, that are provided to students and to and to patients. Um, and clearly the city has no authority uh, to impose a sales tax. I would say it's highly questionable. State Senator Devlin Robinson questions the city's authority to tax and calls discriminatory, a provision that allows city residents, but nobody else, to get a tax credit or refund of the 1% tax. Who is going to go into the city to seek medical treatment uh, whenever they're going to be taxed and, and don't have any relief from those taxes? This was proposed in 1998 and then withdrawn. A part of it was also proposed by former Mayor Luke Ravenstahl with the tuition tax. And so um, uh, we think we can. Burgess defends the legality of his proposal and says the city really needs this money. We have to find new revenue to invest specifically in the bridges and roads to make them safe for our citizens. Burgess suggests he really doesn't want to tax students and patients, but rather wants to bring the currently untaxed universities and medical institutions to the table to pay their fair share. We want to partner with them to create new revenue streams so that we can invest in infrastructure. Whether a student tax or patient tax against the little guy is the best way to bring the big guys to the table remains to be seen. I reached out to Mayor Ganey for comment, none yet. He's still reviewing the proposed bill. John Delano, KDKA News.